Tellers hightailed it out the back door. Want me to go get him? Leave him to me. Y'all get that safe cleaned out and ride. Where the rest of your crew's headed. 
and I'll put a stop to the painting. Well, that sure takes care of that. Only part. Hey, don't find that fire too high, Sucre. Even a little smoke can be seen for miles around. Don't care if it can. I've been half frozen since I got here. I'll take the chance. The fire is dying. Why don't me and you go out and get the wood? Mm-hmm. That's no good, Kate. The last thing I want is Blackie on my neck. I want my share of that loot. Yeah. And what makes you think you'll get the rat that took it to own up? Now we'll just wait on Blackie. He'll get the one that took it. Never met an Indian opened his mouth except when he sat down to eat. What do you suppose he's thinking? He's just loco. Wonder what the hell's keeping Blackie. Pretty cold, ain't it? Well, bring out the money. We'll all get warmed up counting out the shares. What shares y'all talking about? What's the matter? Have you decided you don't want your share or something? Hold it, Blackie. What Sucre means is there ain't no share because there just ain't no money. And no one here will say where it went. Don't start with that damn guitar, Sucre. What's the matter with you all? It's true's gospel, Blackie. While we was getting ready to get out after we was done, one of us, we don't know who, grabbed the loot, cut down Charlie, and then rode. Let's get out of here. No, oh, hold on. We gotta wait. What the hell for? Well, the others will be out in just a minute once they make sure we got everything. Anyway, Blackie said we was all to leave together. Ah, the money's more important than waiting. Well, that's what Yeah, the others can catch up with us later. Hold it. Give me the bags. Come on. Yours, too. Hurry up. <laughs> that's a lousy joke. Come on, where's the money, Kate? Taint a joke, Blackie. A robbery worth a hundred thousand. Sure someone pulled a joke on everybody. And that someone is here now. Right here among us. Joke's even bigger. Kate was wrong about her guessing. This was stuck to one of the sacks that we took. We each had one. And seeing there was five of them we took out, each holding a hundred thousand, it was more like half a million. James. Unfortunately, the posse failed to bring in any results. But tomorrow, they'll try again, and we hope at least bring in a lead. Well, why wait till tomorrow? Yeah, you can't yeah, expect them to see in the dark. But don't you worry, gents. Tomorrow, we're going to send out a posse to comb every inch of the county. Yeah, yeah. better we wait until tomorrow. If you all um, would like to hear, I got a proposal to make. Yeah, and who are you? Uh, that ain't important. Would you like to see your money returned? And that bunch line on Boot Hill? Uh, and the proposal? Well, a certain anonymous person has told me he's able and willing to kill off all those bandits and to bring back all your money, of course. And what's his price for doing this? $10,000. That's a partial payout as a reward. It's not much compared to a half million. However, please think it over. He'd like your answer by tomorrow morning. That's about it, gentlemen. Though I must add that, honestly, I was surprised by this proposition, as all of you are. Well, we might as well come to a vote. All you men in favor of accepting this proposition, raise your hands up. I'll be Joe. Let's get, get our money back. Let's give it right. That's right. Sheriff, then we accept the offer. 
You can tell your man we're willing to pay him, but only under certain conditions. What are they? Make it clear that he's not the only man in this. Let's say, just for example, he kills the man. Yet someone working under us, say some deputy or other, he gets us our money. Then we owe nothing. Fair enough. We're agreed, then. Uh, better tell your man uh, not to interfere with our posse in any way. Be sure to let him know. Well, that seems to cover it. Uh, there is one other matter. Well, what is it? The man might complete the job and be killed at the very same moment. He says he'd like the reward in that case to go to somebody else. His gal? His mother. In the morning, I'll come here again, and I'll let you have her address. It's been real nice, gents. I hate waiting up all night. Then go to bed. Yeah, I guess it's the best thing to do. Anyway, we got a hard ride ahead of us tomorrow. Why? The law will be searching these hills before long. And this place is too easy to get to. Where are we going, Blackie? Where they won't think to look for us. It's a place where we can clear things up in peace and quiet. Ghost Valley. The way station. Not so fast. What's the matter, Sucre? It's the wrong logistics. You're forgetting I was a colonel once. <laughs> You're a colonel who's worth a lot of money. We're seven, right? Separate and it'll be likely we'll get there all right. Try it together and we'll have that posse right behind us. But I don't want anybody going by as lonesome. It wouldn't be smart to send the guilty one out there alone in the desert. He might bury the money and then what? I follow you. But we'll get him, don't worry. Kate, Al, and me will go straight to Ghost Valley. Jones, I want you to go along with Hank. Sucre and Navajo will go together. I go alone. Come on, Indian. He always rides alone. Brother. Because whoever got his hands on that money ain't getting away. We'll get him. Who says it will be safe over at that way station? Why, don't you trust me? All right, I'm going. But I don't think that stinking redskin should go off by himself. You call me Navajo. Navajo. <laughs> Enough, Navajo! Hank, take a look. See if he's all right. Bastard, you broke my wrist. I'll get you for this. You pay, Indian. <laughs> oh. oh, shut up. Well, everyone agreed? Yeah. Boys, I'm so cold, I'm just about froze. Let's feed the fire. Uh, who's gonna stand guard tonight? Let's make it as pleasant as we can. We ought to let the boys guard in twos. Just divide them into twos, and when the others go to sleep, they can sit and suspect each other. Navo, you wanna sit up with me? You still follow me? That's fair enough. Hold on. Let's get some rest now. Come on, darling, don't be mean. I'm all confused inside. I feel all nervous and wound up tense, just like a toy. Oh, Blackie, I'm cold, freezing. Come I'm on, so what is this? I just wanted to be near you. Everybody knows what a man you are. I'm only a frightened little girl. I'm always afraid. Kate, you're a...
<laughs> eat it hot now. Thanks. Stage will be here any minute. So eat up before your soup gets cool. Time's wasting, Eliana. Stage will be in any second. I made some batter. Oh, thank you. No, I mean, I just couldn't eat. That's what all you young people say. Now, you sure that you're doing the best thing? Yes. I'm going to live in the big city. I'm going to get a husband. In that's a rattler or a creep. I wouldn't worry, Eliana, child. You're as cute as a little doll. There. Did you see what's sitting over there? He's probably waiting to meet you himself. <laughs> I'll just say hello. <laughs> Do you mind if I keep you company? No, of course not. Uh, would you like to sit down? Are you waiting on the stage? Yes, I'm going away. Ah, oh, that means we'll be together for a while. How glad I am. <laughs> well, then you haven't been here very long. No, I got here yesterday, just passing through. Yes, last night. I remember I saw you. I was working here, you know, but now I'm going east. Yeah, that's it. You're a singer, a singer, aren't you? No, I got no talent. Not a lick. I'm not even good at drinking with a client. <laughs> I get dizzy as a magpie and watch the world bob like a cock at high time. <laughs> I took this cake from William. He would have eaten it all, but I saved this for you. Gladys. I'll see what he wants. Uh-huh. I'll split it with you. No, thanks. Gents, the stage is in. you to see what we got on board. One, two. I'm missing one, Waco. Mm. Be this one. stage. Kate, come on inside. There's still a lot of folk here. Do you own this place? Yeah. Well, I'm warning you, no false moves. There's a better way. Let's say we use them. I think we'll need somebody to do the cooking. Don't forget I'm a lady. I don't cook. So you'll do it. Anything wrong? Well, it's just that I'll need an extra hand in the kitchen. I can't do it alone. Look at that kid. He should turn into a good kitchen girl. <laughs> He's trembling. I guessed he was used to wiping saucers and dishes without ever breaking them. And I ain't wrong. I'll give the lad to you. But that ain't all. Me and my associates want to be left alone. So these girls better disappear until you get told to go out and find them. You got that now? All right. Everybody, out. Cookie, bring me something to drink. Kate, go and see if Albert's finished yet. You, out.
What name you answer to? My name isn't important. You're kind of pig-headed. Not too smart, either. Out with it. Bill. My name's Bill. And say, sir. Yes, sir. Now, Bill, I want you to get this straight right from the beginning. You just listen to me. When I need you, be around. But you gotta know, I ain't used to all this. Because really, I'm a... Ah! Now you're done. You know nothing, you see nothing, and hear nothing. Remember that if you want to live a while longer. You'd like to live a little longer, wouldn't you? You scared rabbit? I got you pegged all right. Yeah, you're right. I know nothing. I see nothing, and I hear nothing. I'll remember, don't you worry. And say, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I figure you could be worse. I do like a lad that tries to understand. Come here, slop buster. I want this place to shine. Yes, sir. You all heard that, isn't that right? The maid's telling me yes, sir. <laughs> Let it alone, Al. We got things to discuss that are much more important. I was just thinking how nice it'll be when the others arrive here. Because I'd certainly like to see all tear each other to pieces. I know I ain't even suspected. And why not? Because when your hooded double crosser was at it, you know that I was tending to business. Keeping watch at the other end of town, like I always do. I guess she's right, Blackie. Couldn't have been Kate. Say she put on a hood. What are you saying, Blackie? It's just that it could have easily have been you. You really don't know what you're saying. It seems the only way I might finagle those sacks is if you'd robbed them. Who doesn't know I'm your woman? Did you hear that? She's all mine. But I'm not so sure you couldn't handle two men at once. You really enjoy stirring up poor Albert, don't you? Blackie, that wasn't nice. <laughs> you. Let's see how fast you can mop up that floor. Hey, take it easy. I was fooling, honest. Have yourself a good look. He's really something, ain't he? Is he your kind of man, Kate? That's enough. Let's not frighten him into his tomb. Because then you wash dishes, Albert. I'm no good at washing dishes. Well, get your behind in there. Hey, you. Tell your boss to come in here. Me, sir? Yeah, if that's so. My name is William, thank you, sir. I call you Fatso because you're plump. Why, it's bother you? Uh, no, sir. Now that's a lot better. When's the next stage coming through here? It's due in six days, sir. Well, that's good enough. That's just what we need. Prepare three extra places. We're expecting some people. Yes, sir. Hang that yes, sir, sass, or I'll make it so it'll stick in your craw. Why are you dressed in black? Someone just died. Someone just died, sir. Someone just died, sir. Ah, who was it? My wife, Gladys. She was killed, shot in the back. Your wife, was she fat and old? I think I found out who shot her. Never mind. I did you a favor. Get out of here.
What's the matter, Al? Nothing. I thought I heard a horse out there. You really heard him, or else it's a ghost. <laughs> I bet you were getting worried, weren't you? Well, Blackie, you're the first to show up. My, aren't we getting a little luxurious? It's a regular bed of roses here, Sucre. Huh. It's a pity to lose any time. I'll bring down a rose for you. How come no one else has got here yet? I don't know. But I got a feeling they'll all be here by tonight. So now it's just me, Al, Kate, and you. Hmm. It's a nice place you chose. You might have been a first-class tactician. You sure got shrewd eyes. The place is set up good. Yeah, nice. Real nice. If you value the opinion of an ex-colonel. Yeah, Sucre, I knew you'd like it. I've known about a long time. There ain't nothing out there. Right. Yeah, it's real good. And the thing is, of course, I wonder if we'll be able to discover who double-crossed all of us and where the loot is now. If that worries you? We'll smoke him out. You just let me handle it, Colonel. He'll give himself away. Sure thing. He only has to do something wrong. And I won't be too long. <laughs> I want you to know I'm really sorry. Life doesn't mean a thing. A man's so cheap, I'm sure no one really cares about us. Nothing means a thing. You have to help me. We're supposed to feed that pack of jackals in there. Don't forget that the ones who did this will be judged too one day. Gladys, she was all that really mattered. I can't accept the way she died. We better get started. Yes, sir. Should I cut it? No. I guess I better cut it up. You watch now. Well, I cut. You do it for me. I can't. Well, what's wrong now? I'm afraid. Who wouldn't be? What was it we did till all these guys rolled in? All we do is tend our own business. These strangers are all new clients. And you know what, girls? I'm going to raise my prices. Looks like they'd be willing to come through with a girl they really like. You had a heart once, Jenny. Now, how could you forget what they did to Gladys? It is kind of sad. She wasn't so bad, really. But how much did we ever see of what she took in? Not a thing. Whatever you all going to make tonight, you get paid direct. That sounds good. Are you coming? I guess it'll be all right. We'll just do what we expected to do. Right. Hmm. I miss the music. We got the girls, plenty to eat, plenty to drink. The only thing wrong is we ain't got no music. You like Sucre to sing? Hmm. Looks like he's got better things to do. Al, I couldn't stand my own music right now. Besides, I'm busy. Hey, Little Red Riding Hood. What do you do when you're not running away from a wolf? I don't know. You know how to play a piano? A little, but I ain't too good. Whoever thought we'd be so lucky? It's a good thing we didn't get rid of him. He'll liven things up now. I don't have to ask you twice, do I? Well, I don't play very well. You play however you can. <laughs> Just play. <laughs> Now, you see that you play only gay ditties, or you ain't gonna see tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's have a party! <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> 
start before sunrise. I know that too, can't you see? It'll simplify splitting it. Which room is yours? The one with the nice hot bed. The big brass one. <laughs> Should I come? I wrote a lot today. I won't deny how tuck it out I am. Know what they say in Louisiana? A good woman's good tonic. <laughs> Muchachos, there's still a girl free. Come on, dance with her. She's all right. <laughs> Have a drink, boys. We'll walk down the dust. That's it here. Why is everybody going hog wild? Got the money? Or is it too soon? Albert and Sucre are just having a little fun, that's all. Just because Navajo ain't here yet don't mean he took it. We'll wait for him. You ain't convincing me. We're supposed to come here to get this thing settled. Not for all this. Besides, where is Navajo? Who understands Indians? And you two. Why are you so late? Because we took the desert trail, hoping that that big posse would be out looking somewhere else. Ain't that sense? I think so. How about you? Well, if Navajo don't get here, it's over. We'll know who done it. And I'm sure we'll catch up with him. Go ahead and eat now. I can eat a horse, I'm so hungry. Stan, you wait up for the Indian. I'm going to go to sleep. Go to bed. We'll wait for Navajo until tomorrow at 10. And if he ain't here by then, we'll go and get him. All right. I'm dead on my feet. I look at Jones. Come on, you. We're going to bed. <sighs> you think that Indian will ever show? Yep. I know that he will. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You saw those two. They've been watching like falcons. And Sucre, he only grins. That's a sign he's edgy, too. And you've been enjoying all that? Yep. We're gonna know before long who's heading straight for trouble. Wait till morning. Five to one, someone's gonna die before tomorrow. Something wrong? I didn't want to go to bed. I knew that somehow I thought I'd feel better if I talked with you. There's so much on my mind, Bill. Is that silly? You're nothing but a scared little girl. What you think? 
Nevada. We had a ranch there. Then my folks died and I left. You see, I'm on my own. A ranch needs a man to run it. Sure. Are you going back to Nevada? I always think my home will be in Nevada. I'm going back there. I know you'll make it, too. I only had the chance to get me a ranch. Do you really mean that? Of course I do, Eliana. I'm no fighter. I'm against guns. Well, then, you're just not made like that. How happy I am that you dislike violence. Bill, you really do seem like a serious fella. A boy who's nice. But then I always did think there'd be someone someday. You did? You thought that? Bill, would you please do as I ask? Sure, Eliana, anything you want. Would you let me sleep here with you? Are you saying, are you saying that you want to stay here, here with me? That's right. I want to stay here with you. But you're forgetting. You're forgetting. Oh, what a pretty girl. You're real nice as well. I never imagined that any girl could really be so sweet. Well, I'm only doing what I think would be best. Sometimes I'm a very smart girl. I don't get it. Let me stay with you, because if those gunmen find me in my room, it'll be all over. You wouldn't send me away. We might be able to enjoy this, Bill. Eliana. It's not so bad, is it? I brought a bottle of whiskey, because, well, two's not always company. We might get thirsty. And so I brought it here. Well, it's true that in some ways, two is not always company, Jenny. I do think that a man has to be prudent. You know what they say? You choose the girl or the bottle. Hmm? You're not scared. Come on, I want a little of that whiskey. <laughs> This won't be too much, Sucre. I feel like playing some music. What kind of song would you like? You play what you think would be best. Who cares? It's all music. I got an old tin ear. Tell me now, what kind of song would you like just for you uh, until... Until, honey? <laughs> now, you ought to know me a lot better. Until I'm ready to pull the trigger. Uh. It's too bad, but then... Tell me whose idea it was, who sent you? It was Kate, wasn't it? Adios, little lady. Adios. Surprised to see me? A little bit. I didn't expect to see you up so early. I had a bad night. Bad night, Sucre? What do you mean? Nothing. It's just that last night they tried to eliminate me. And I don't appreciate that. They tried to murder you last night? The way I see it, they bought the girl. Poor Ginny had no reason to do a thing like that. And I know who paid her. Yeah? How can you know? You might have just got the girl mad at you. Jenny tried to poison me. Do you really expect me to believe barmaids keep arsenic around here? They don't, and you know it. 
Sucre, why did you go and murder that girl last night? She had nothing to do with us. Because if that's the way you treat the ladies, with gunshots, I better go and warn the other girls. And you better get used to the idea of spending your nights alone. It's yours, huh, Kate? You really are tight. Is it yours, that money? No. But when somebody gives me money, it's just as good as mine. Well, giving a hand with somebody else's horse, that's nice. Me I always liked horses. That figures, but now isn't that styling you're cleaning blackies? Yeah, but I'm only doing it because I like to do it. All right, finish playing with this stallion and wishing you were your own. I don't understand. You better try then. You see, I was thinking you're the type of man who could make this your horse. Not only the horse, but a lot more. It's up to you. You could lead that gang in there. If you're thinking I want to kill Blackie, you're wrong. Come back here, Al. Sure you can do it, don't you think? Lots of things will be yours. Light? Me, I suppose. His girl. I'm getting out of here, Kate. Hey, don't be silly. Just let me talk to you. I won't say anything you don't like. I don't want to force you. I just want to be yours. Please, if you'd only use your imagination now. Blackie might come in. <laughs> More than likely, Blackie trusts you about just as much as he would a snake in the grass, friend. Think about it. And let me know if you can handle a real woman. Stop playing around with horses and get going. Kate, where's Al? He's in the barn, grooming your horse like a good fellow. And you were in there? Yeah. Does it matter to you? I just don't want you pestering my men. Is that what you call men? <coughs> That's my warning. Stay clear of the boys till we split up. I thought it was nice. Yeah. There's something I want to say. Go ahead. I've been thinking of the house that was my home as a girl. I was thinking I still have that home and how nice it would be there sharing it with you. You and me together on the ranch. What do you think, Bill? I think it would be great, Eliana. You know you're not the first, Bill. Oh, I had other girls, too. Not many and, well, not any so pretty. But it's all over. Things will be different. Don't you see it plainer, prettier in the picture? Oh, sorry. Yes, like a picture portrait in a book. But I'm not sure we're ever going to be finished with this. Why did it take you so long to get here? This girl was hurt. I brought her here because she has lost her horse and must drink water. I bring her here. Go on and get washed up. Don't worry, she'll be all right. I want to see her taken care of. Hey, you. Come here. Take this girl upstairs and put her to bed and look come after her. Come on, Bill. Give me a hand. She will need food and water. We'll take good care of her.
She'll be all right once she gets her strength back. Let us hope she will soon be well. You broke my wrist, Navajo. That's what I tried to do. Where's the well? In front, Navajo. Don't you want a drink first? I want water first. Hey, you finally made it. That is, of course, unless you were supposed to be late. A woman. She's here with me. She is very bad. Help her. You rescued her in the desert. Hmm. You picked a fine time, Indian. You know what we came here to do. All right. Help her. Yep, I'll try to help. I won't forget this. To me, you are a friend. You just stop it now. Stop thinking about it. I ain't thinking about it, I tell you. I can see it when I look at you. You want revenge. But who's the one who's responsible? Can you answer that? Yes, I can. It was the old man himself who'd done it, mean bastard. I'll fix him. You mustn't try anything. The only satisfaction you'll get is in stopping a bullet. It'll be a way out. I won't go on like this. Don't you see it's too late for that? Besides, it's just useless. Forget it. I can't let you go out there. You'll get yourself killed. Because they're just waiting to shoot you. Can't kill a man who's already dead. They cut my heart out. Promise me, William. For real now, we gotta get through this thing. It just ain't gonna do no good to go against it. We gotta be smarter than they are, right? By God, yes. Be good and careful and you'll live forever. How's she now? Now she's just resting. Step inside. Her breathing's almost normal now. We'll do all we can, Navajo. She'll get better. She'll get well again. You see to her. I'll pay uh -uh. you. Put away the money. I won't take it. All she needs is a little rest. I'll see she sleeps until tomorrow. I go then. Many thanks. While we were inside, Kate, you were down at the end of the street waiting for us, weren't you? Yeah, sure. You used me to keep watch outside, out in the street. And how do we know that was you? It could have been any one of us. We all looked alike. You're trying to make it seem like I'm the one that took the money, aren't you, Jones? You just better count me out. You can bet nobody's got no business accusing me. And you, Jones, just where were you? You know I was in the bank, too. You weren't. It was me, Sue Gray, Navajo, Charlie, everybody. Can anyone of you swear that no one slipped out while it was going on? Come on, boys, let's hear it. You know Al came running out to talk to me. He told me that he'd seen someone run out the side door. I'll take care of it. Clean out the safe and then get it. Bank teller tried to make a break, and I killed him. You ain't interested in what we're saying, Sucre? Till I got something to say, I'll save my breath. Well, boys, let's do this right, because it's a way out. The one who took the money could start thinking and decide he wants to put things right again, like gentlemen do, and give the money back to us, and he could stay alive. Ah, uh, it's a crazy idea. Crazy or not, we still ought to give it a try. All right. It's only a waste of time, though, since we ain't got no gentlemen here. You all hear what Sucre said. If the one who's got the money wants to own up, Give it back. We'll go ahead and make the split as though nothing happened. No hard feelings and nobody gets hurt. You got my word. I'm waiting. Come on.
anything wrong, Jones? Wait. You said nobody'd get. You promised. <coughs> okay, Jones. Now tell us, where'd you hide the money? Jones, tell us where it is. You tell us now! I don't know nothing. I ain't got it. The Indian, he's been pushing dollars under our nose. You can, you can ask. If he hadn't reached inside of his shirt, none of this would have happened. It's too bad we lost him. Do you really think so? I'd say it fits right in with the program. You see, we don't have to share with him. Dead men don't collect. One day I'm gonna kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, just forget that. You know that I'm too good at this game. But you shouldn't lose control, Blackie. What do you mean by that? You shouldn't let the boys see you like that. You look all angry and red. It ain't fitting. <laughs> What'll we do? Joan says that Navajo suddenly got as rich as hell. This is all there is, and I made it dollar by dollar. All my life, I have not wanted to spend it. You got an awful lot there. Yes, I know. And don't try to take it from me. I am very dangerous when I get mad. How much is there, more or less? It's about a thousand, and all my own. But you can't accuse me. You are buying new saddles. Did it cost much? How I spend my money has nothing to do with it. All right, if you don't have to answer, then let me alone. Come on, let it go. Nobody can be considered guilty just because he's got a few dollars in his pockets. Yeah, and how do we know he ain't hidden the rest of the money? Because it just doesn't make sense to carry a role like that, unless it were perfectly innocent. Thank you, Sucre. Listen, it's strange that you should have been chasing some no-account banker. Strange thing to do in the middle of it. Why? Suppose he'd have gotten away and run for help. Hadn't we decided that none of those bankers was going to get out alive? It don't seem logical. If I'd have been slipping away to rob you boys, I would have been telling Al here about it. Supposing now that that was exactly your idea. Wouldn't have been the worst of alibis. I don't know what you're talking about. Did anybody see you going after that banker? You think I was out there for show? I don't know. Didn't any of you boys see me? I didn't see nothing. No offense to you personally, but we didn't know we had to watch you. Let's ask him about whether he saw anything, because we're all in the same boat. Did you see him in Navajo? No. Nobody saw you. Well, this is a pretty fine way of showing your gratitude to me, seeing as how I risk my life to protect you. Don't you go starting on that gratitude. Why, you little livered polecat, I ain't gonna forget stop that. Stop that now, both of you. Come on now, stop this. You boys can settle your problems later. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll come out who's guilty and who isn't guilty. You just don't be forgetting one thing. I was the one that thought of that robbery. I organized it all. The whole thing was my idea. Hmm. Now, in my experience, I wouldn't say that let you out. Thing is, you needed some of us. I don't imagine you would hit that town all by your lonesome. Sue Gray is right. Oh, but why suspect Blackie? Could really have been any of us. <laughs> Where are the others? The others? The kid and the fat boy. You think they overheard us now? Hank, go see where they are. Wouldn't it be better to send a woman on this errand? Go if you want. You know, if that boy didn't come apart at the seams every time he saw a gun, I think he might want to seduce you.
Little boy, what are you so worried about? I ain't much used to violence and uproar. I don't like it. Sure, I know. But you're not scared when you're with a girl who likes you, and you know I do like you, Bill, right? You have such big and manly and wonderfully delicate hands. You don't mind that I tell you that. Every time I see you doing things with your hands, I think about one thing. I'm wondering what it'd be like to be touched by you. They've killed for less. Don't let them bother you. Come, Bill. We're gonna be all right. You know I can make you rich. Come on, you give me a kiss. You're gonna learn real quick, Bill. <laughs> it was her fault, honest. I knew that already. Kate doesn't see much around of your kind, I suppose. Uh, you stay clear, the others won't like it, unless you first learn how to pack a weapon, Bill. Bill, your hands are mighty strong. Bet you'd really be good with a gun. I'll teach you how to do it. That'll take some amount of practice. Afraid of guns, are you? Well, I understand it. You know, I was a colonel in the artillery years ago. It was during the war. I was sick of the smell of a cannon. I was a lot like you. Come on, try it, Bill. I don't want to. I think you ought to try it. Just hold on. It's always harder the first time you do things. But after the first couple of minutes, you'll get to like it. Then after a couple of days, you'll... Go ahead. Don't make me do it, please, sir. You're worse than I thought. It's amazing how you can just refuse to try it. <coughs> go ahead, you coward. You know I'm just trying to save that filthy skin of yours. Pick up those guns, go ahead. Bill, you ain't shaking no worse than you were shaking before. But you gotta get over that, too. You better stay like that till I tell you. I want you to stay like that until I get through singing my song, all right? Noche mala, noche buena. This little hammer hits here, the bullet leaves the barrel. And if anyone's in the way, it means trouble. I reckon that's clear here. Hmm. Boy, now we're making it. Your improvement's amazing, remarkable. Shall I tell you why? Because now you know what this little piece of metal can do. It's all part of a boy's learning. Use it when you mean business, because one day it'll draw blood. <laughs> Go on, the guests will be hungry. They want some food. May I ask why you're doing this? Bill, maybe it's because I don't want to see you or anybody else just gunned down. No. No, I don't think that's the real reason. Yeah, if not, what's bothering you? N nothing. Nothing. I shouldn't even be asking. Of course you got a right to be asking. It's just that certain questions might be dangerous. Bill, I think I'd better tell you one thing. The gang is missing one man. His name was Vincent. Was killed. And I don't want to see you murdered like that man. What's more, I'm doing it because I like it. You think that I could do just nothing? You're wrong, Billy. Now get out, your time's up! <coughs> A 
How is she? Well, she's been sleeping. And she's cooler now. I guess the fever's gone. She'll be all right. She'll open up her eyes soon. I feel it. What's this? What's this? Our own little Kate. What are you doing here, sweetheart? This isn't your room. Huh? Let me go, Hank. Let me go. What are you doing here? Help me, Bill. <laughs> you stay there, Bill. You're gonna die for sure. Easy, Hank. I'll start such a ruckus that Blackie will come here. And I'll tell him that I was assaulted. And I'll tell him I came in just while you were getting ready to assault our young friend here. Hey, now, look at you, Hank. Ain't you real? After all, I like you. I didn't know what it was like to hold you close to me. You really don't know what a girl likes. Kiss me. <laughs> Hank's room is just at the end of the corridor. You do as I tell you. It's easy, don't worry. Now, you hold the body back. Just try to go quiet. You take care of Hank while I cover you. In the morning, when the others find Hank's body, they'll believe it was the Indian or Al who done it, or it was an accident nobody will know. That's enough, fat boy. This'll do fine. <clears throat> Come on. It's better treatment than your dear little wife got, though, isn't it, fat boy? You. this Blackie. He says I'm a coward. Lay off, Al. We need him alive. Don't be acting like a silly fool. 
Hey, you know, Redskin's a lucky bastard, eh? Just look at this little dumpling he picked up in the desert. Well, I'd say it sure was worth it. You better watch your hands. You bother her, and I take your scalp. Not so fast. After all, I was only bullying you. Well, she's a pretty girl. All that money of yours should pay for the both of you, at least, though, I'd say, a good couple of years. This money would make you come running. The money. Where is it? Talking, huh? You know nothing. Well, I don't much go for that. Of course, I could be mistaken, but I don't think so. <laughs> and then I do need me a girl. I bet your girl's real nice, or you could tell me where it is. You take the lady, and eventually you two get married. Now, what do you say? There is nothing to tell you. All right, it's your girl, Redskin. I'll make you decide to talk. Well, I guess you'll be able to handle the rest. Go on, get. Get going. Oh. Down, you wildcat! Well, that was just the first act. But if you'd like to talk, we'll call it quits. There is nothing to tell you. Hmm. I'd have preferred the cash. Thank you. 
Now, Bill. Not too bad, but you gotta be quick around the draw, son. Now. Better. Boy, not least you can take care of yourself. Now, if you want to try it again. <coughs> Bill, I'll kill you if you open your mouth about this. You see, nobody knows. I want it like that. I won't say anything. But I'm sure if you took care of yourself, you'd... I'm afraid it's too late. I guess it'll all be over soon anyhow. There's no way out. Not even the hot sun of Mexico can get me out of this. See, I'm a deserter. I got no place to go now. But you certainly should do something. Listen, Bill. Sometimes you know you're gonna die and win. I won't be around much more. That's how it is. But there is one thing that I do want to tell you. I've been lying. Lying? Remember you said there must be a reason why I was teaching you all about weapons? Well, there is. I wanted you to know. But why? I once mentioned Vincent. He wasn't so bad. He was no worse than the rest of the gang. He was my brother. He was murdered. He was wounded and fed to that posse to be hanged. He was betrayed. What I'm asking you won't be easy to do. Bill, I want you to bury my brother. You give him a decent burial. You will have all the money you need, more than you can guess. So don't worry on the cost. Bill, you will see to it. Yes. I'll see to it, Sucre. But we'll, we'll do it together. You can get well, you'll see. It's not only that I'm sick, you know. How many times can you court death, see? So it's hopeless. Come on now. There's one other thing. When all that murdering and killing's done, There'll be one more around, and he'll want to see you good and dead. He won't want any witnesses. So you got to take care of yourself. We all know where Al was during the robbery. So he couldn't have taken the money anyway. Nobody will miss him. Uh, won't have to share with him now. I'd say you did us a favor there. Where'd you leave the rest of him? In the desert. The jackals and the coyotes will be happy to see him. Well, Blackie, now there remains only Kate, Navajo, you and I. One of us has got to be the one. Yeah, that's right. Let's examine the whole thing all over again. So we'll examine it. I'm prepared to reconstruct a particular moment of that day. Does it interest you? Which moment? Go ahead. Tell us what you know. Remember how we ran? They were chasing us. And they were about to catch up. Yeah, we were in real trouble. I was afraid they were going to start shooting. And just at that moment, there were a couple of shots. I didn't know what was going on. I was too far ahead. I was ahead of Blackie. Seems Al was a little behind. You wouldn't happen to remember where Vincent was. Near me. Poor Vincent. I remember clearly when it was hit. That's good, Blackie. You remember everything, I guess. Navajo's given us the slip. Well, then he's the one that's got the money. Stay right where you are, Blackie, and don't make a move. I don't think it's Navajo who's got it. I'm sure his high tail in it was for another reason. You're out of your mind, loco. You can't do this. On my mother's grave, I'll kill you. Eliana. 
Run and check the whereabouts of the Indian's girlfriend. Uh, yes. Navajo's done the one thing that could make any sense right now. Maybe. Because he's got the loot. No, because he'd already made the decision he didn't want to be killed. There's nobody there. Thanks, Eliana. You all get out of sight. A shot or two might go wild. <gasps> you see, Blackie, Navajo's got a girl to love. And you know, that's one thing you and I ain't had. He means to try to protect her. You see, he don't want that money so badly. He wants to stay alive, and I don't blame him. I know that, but you didn't run off, did you? I'm not going to go till I settle some business here. If you don't mind, I would now like to continue with our discussion. You could begin to discuss that money right here and now. Be happy to do it. Better make sense, because I don't know how any of the boys could steal those sacks right there under our very noses. It's insane that no one saw it. You're forgetting how we were dressed, Kate. Under those robes, we could have each been carrying 20 pounds of potatoes. Clever reasoning, Sucre, but wrong. You were with us when we rode away. And if anyone had those sacks, we'd have known at the hideout. Oh, I can answer that. We split up, you see. And of course, that's when the person who took the sacks hid them. It was as easy as that. It makes a nice story. But I'd hope now you'd be telling us that you know where the money's hidden. Do you? No, don't know enough yet. But you can see why I want to go on with it. Talk more about it. We said the posse was beginning to gain ground on us. And then, Blackie, you shouted that the gang should break up, didn't you? Hey! We gotta separate! Ah! Blackie! Blackie! I turned around and saw that Vincent was hit. But there was one thing strange in all this. Strange? How so? We gotta keep him busy or we'll never get away. Yeah, but how? If the posse had got him, how come he had blood on his chest? Thing is, he must have been hit by one of our own gang. You certain that Vincent had blood on his chest? Yes. Come on, who would have killed Vincent? You, Blackie. I saw you do it. You plugged an old friend. So what if I did? Let me remind you that what I did, I did in order to save you all. It stinks and you sicken me. You're a disgusting murderer. I didn't want it to happen. I agree with you. But what was I to do? Besides, it's not important. It's very important to me, Blackie. Because Vincent was my brother. Your brother? Yeah. Because of that, I'm going to kill you. You got it right. You'd better get ready to die. Unbuckle your holster. Look at that. 
You won't be able to use that new rig anyway. Just a no good worm. You wanted to keep it all. Black it! by the town to kill all of you. They wanted their money back, and I wanted my revenge. Now both accounts are settled. <coughs> Come on out. It's all right. The coast is clear. The show's been called off early. Look at them. They've gone to their maker. Go on, you shouldn't fear the dead. Ah! Eliana, come here. I'm making you my heir, Eliana. Bill, you tell her. Tell her my time will be up before long anyway. It's true. He's very sick. Still, it's nothing that time won't cure. I know what I'm saying, Eliana. It don't matter. We all gotta die. Only I was hoping to get some pleasure yet. And don't worry, I'll make it worth your while, Eliana. Uh, no. Why do you say no? I told you, I'm not doing this out of kindness. I told you I was hoping for some pleasure. We all know that I'm soon gonna die, so don't you think it'll be all right? In Louisiana, a condemned man always asks for two things. A woman like you and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> This is your inheritance. What do you think about that? Go on, take it. It's all yours. Come on. It isn't stolen money. Well, now, what is it, Eliana? You don't want to take it? No. Eliana isn't for sale. Bill, that's none of your business. Though she's a precious little article. <laughs> You're not in love with her. Besides, I can do what I damn please, no matter what. No, you can't! I won't let you. No. Forget it, friend. I'm sorry, Eliana. You go on upstairs and wait for me. Go on! You want to stop me, don't you? Yes. But you can't. I won't let you. Listen, you've just begun to learn how to handle a weapon. But you can't possibly beat Sucre yet. Try it, though. You think you'll be able to kill me? Hmm. Well, I have to get going. No girl likes to be kept waiting. <laughs> do, huh? Go ahead. But you haven't got the guts to kill a rabbit. Sucre! 
Sucre! Sucre. I didn't want to fire. I pushed you into doing it. I wanted it, Bill. I, I'd reached the end of the line. It's just that you were going upstairs. I don't know how it happened, but I pulled the trigger. I didn't want to. I, I only did it to protect her, Sucre. You think I don't know that? Now, you listen to what I got to say. <laughs> Hang on to that money. It's yours. I don't want any. I would never take it. If you get better, you're going to be needing it. And the money that was stolen from that bank, it wasn't any good. They canceled the whole series right after the robbery. It's worthless. I must tell you something. Sukri, listen. I was a bank teller at that bank. I was after you, because the bank didn't want to pay the money for the reward. But the money ain't worth a damn thing anyway. <laughs> Bill, you're a bad boy, aren't you? Imagine what Blackie would say if he knew the whole thing was for nothing. <laughs> Now, you listen, Bill. Do something else when you go back to town. Yeah, sure. Anything you want. Tell the people how it was. Tell them I earned their reward. Tell them I kept my word. <laughs> and I did what I had to. I want him to know that, and Blackie sure paid for what he did. And don't forget your promise to me. You, you did swear that, that, that you buried my brother. Let's leave right away. It'll be a long ride to Nevada. Yeah, but I must pay a debt to Sucre. Eliana, you heard. You gotta be a little patient. You must let me do this. Let me settle that business of the reward. His mother's gonna need it now. A day or two, and then we'll be on our way to Nevada. <gasps> Se descansó mucha pena cuando se va. 